Watch and learn latest software technologies in under five minutes, literally. Hi, this is Steve Xiao from 297seconds.com. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to create and consume a WCF web service. If you want your website to show more dynamic information, you're going to need a web service. For example, your website can ping the web service for the current temperature. The web service will have some knowledge base, database, or some mechanism to get the answer and return the answer to your website. This basic system is called a Service Oriented Architecture, or SOA. For this video, I'm going to use Windows Communication Foundation, or WCF, for the web service. You'll need Visual Studio 2010 installed to try this for yourself, and a little C-sharp and Silverlight to build the website. Let's get started. I'm going to show you a non-full screen screencast so we can see the details inside the Visual Studio IDE. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a new project. I'm selecting Silverlight under Visual C Sharp and choose a Silverlight application. I'm going to click OK and Visual Studio will create the necessary files. There is a lot you can do with Silverlight and C Sharp, but for this demo, we're going to keep it simple and put a button on the page and add a web service to the project. Right click on the .web project and choose to add a new item and choose WCF service. After you click Add, you will see the first of two files that you'll need to modify. This is the file where WCF service exposes to the world what it can do, like getting the current temperature. Instead of not returning a result, we're going to make it return a string. And we're going to change the operation from do work to say hello. Remember that that was just a web service saying what it can do. Now, we actually have to wire up the work of saying hello. We do this in the corresponding .sbc.cs file, which is the second file we need to modify for the web service. We're going to make similar changes here and make it return a simple hello. Now it's very important that you build your solution at this point. I'll explain in a minute. The website is going to need to locate the web service. We do this by creating a service reference that points to the web service. Now, the reason we needed to trigger a build a moment ago is because the add service reference dialog has to query the web service to find out what operations it has. Triggering a build will make sure that we get the latest operation contracts. There's our say hello. Now that we've created a service reference to the web service, we can call it from our code. We're going to put a few lines of code behind button 1. First, we're going to need to create a new instance of the service client of the service reference we just created. We'll call it my client. Next, we'll have to wire up what we want to happen when we get a response from the service after triggering a request to say hello. That is, after getting an answer from the web service, what do we want to do with the answer? We'll simply display the message which will be hello with three exclamation points in the message box. Now, remember that we have not made the actual request to say hello, so let's wire that up. Let's build this and test it. That's it. 